In lesson 10, we wrote and expanded multiplication expressions, and it really came in three parts. So the students and I looked at 6 times 3 times AB, and I was trying to teach the students that we can write this with fewer characters. 6 times 3 I know is 18, and to represent multiplication in algebra, we don't need the dots, okay? When you put the coefficient in front of the variables, this implies multiplication. This is the same, this is an equivalent expression to 6 times 3 times a times b, it's just 18ab. This means 18 times a times b. And we did another example like this. Um, I instructed the students to multiply the numbers first. 4 times 2 is 8, and they are left with c and e. So this is 8 times C times E, but we just don't need as many symbols and characters to express that. Those are equivalent expressions. The second thing we went to, part two, is not um, trying to simplify the expressions, but now we're expanding them. So the students and I talked about several different ways to try to write this multiplication sentence or expression out. The students came up with first 2 times 8 times y times z. And then we said, okay, is that the most expanded form of this multiplication expression? And they said no. They could break 8 down to 2 times 2 times 4 times y times z. And then we talked as, about this, and they noticed that they could even break 4 down farther. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times y times z is an equivalent expression to 16yz. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, and then we talked about finding the product of these two terms, multiplying them together. Okay, again, this is really just 8 times 9 times g times f, and you can break 9 into 8 times 3 times 3, times g times f. Oh, Mrs. Kramer, how could I forget to break down 8? We just did it up here. We broke 8 into 2 times 2 times 2, and then we'll bring down times 3 times 3 times g times f, just so the students understand that this can be broken down. And the last thing we discussed in the lesson today was finding products. So 2j times 4p, they multiply 4 times 2, which would be 8 times j times p, or 8jp. And first, doubling the product of 4r and 3bc, they first have to find the initial product. So 4 times 3 is 12, and then you're left with bc r. The students and I talked to that it's not does it's not necessarily wrong, but in most instances the variables are alpha order. Then they want us to double this or times it by two. So twelve times two is twenty-four B C R or twenty-four times B times C times R. And this was a brief summary of the lesson today.